And so what's happening is in that person's DNA, it's coming to me. I'm reaffirming and saying, but you have to bring it to pass. You are the one that... We, that, that John one, and John, Kristen, Ragsdale, Stan. Let's do it. I want to say something to you because your DNA is screaming out so loud, it's deafening me. God has raised you up and wherever people gather around you, you can come forward if you want. Wherever people, come let's see, bless them because there are people out there right now. There are people out there right now that they know that they have a dream, they have an imagination, that Satan's trying to starve that imagination by calling it uh, wrong, and that's not right for you to think so highly of yourself, and all that starvation of the, of, of the, of the imagination. And, and that's what God, God wants. When he puts a word inside of you to do something, he wants you to imagine, he wants you to dream, he wants you to dream your highest dreams and create that image. You already have a calling. You know what happened when God put you together. And how the enemy has endeavored over the years to, 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 supply, to supply all kinds of words of doubt and, and arrogance from others to try and stop you. But God said, you've got this far. And, and guess what? You are gatherers. In other words, people will be drawn to you and magnetized to you. Why? Because you have realized that your day has come. The time now, the day has fully come, says the Lord. And guess what? Because the day has fully come, there is a sound that is coming from the open heavens and upon you is resting an expression. The Bible says in Acts chapter 2 that the house was filled and tongues of fire rested upon each one of them that was sitting. God said there is a resting of an expression upon both of you and it's one sound but it's two of you individually. This territory that you are standing on is the territory that God has given to you. I will give you favor from every place. There will be legends in the industry that will come to you and say we need to hear, we need to understand what's going to happen. They are legends, God says. People that have lived their lives and now are coming to the end they'll say what can we do to help a generation what can we do to influence them you have been set aside you have been appointed God said now is the time get ready to gather I'll give you the properties I'll give you the buildings but God said run with the vision for this is the place that you shall sound my alarm says the Spirit of the Lord come yeah. on yeah 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 come on let's pray for them now Let's pray for them right now. Lord, we release your spirit. We release your word. We release your anointing right now. Now that they see something clearly, speed in the process up. Accelerate the finances. Accelerate everything that they need, Lord. Let the doors open from every side of Tennessee, every side of Texas. Lord God, know there are other places as well. Now, Lord, let this happen as these words have been spoken in the name of Jesus. Come on. And you know why? This moment is important for all of you because it happens that when a prophet zeroes in on a specific person, the words that are quickening in your spirit from that word apply to you as well. The truth is, for everyone watching right now, your imagination may have been under bombardment as he was prophesying here from voices that were trying to rob you of confidence in the fact that it is God who put that dream in your heart and God who put those ideas in your spirit and the Lord is not just interested in you casting down imaginations he wants you to exalt the image he put on the inside of you this word God is right now accelerating the expression of his people his glory through his people so real property real wealth real dreams real influence and real visions can be materialized